So now we have the mother of the whole Miss yes. Globe Netherlands with us. So we are going to be getting the full information, full gist Aww. on Miss Globe. Yeah. So, yeah, the floor is yours. So, okay, how? Let's get to know you. Yes, so I am Mrs. Blessing Njo Ejim. Actually, not even Mrs. Globe. Um, <laughs> I am National Director of the Miss Globe Netherlands. Mm. So that means that I am responsible for the coordination and management of the pageant here in the Netherlands. Because mm -hmm. as you probably already know, there are various countries all across the world that are, you know, participating. So I am responsible for the Netherlands and I have been doing this actually for uh, close to five years. Actually more than five years. This was supposed to be our fifth anniversary, but nice. Corona had that. other plans <laughs> like, you know. So yes, we are here to talk mm -hmm. about... Miss Globe. The Miss Globe Netherlands. Netherlands yeah. So actually it's the Miss Globe. The Miss Globe, okay. Not just Miss, Miss Globe. Globe. Okay. <laughs> the Miss Globe. So when you say you've been coordinated for just five years in the Netherlands, but how long has the Miss Globe been in the um, the Miss Globe itself has been on for 44 years, oh, wow. yes, so, um, well, things have been happening and there have been national directors in the past, mm -hmm. but I got the license okay. to handle the Netherlands mm -hmm. in 2015, and that was actually the first time that I um, had a girl represent us, and then the event was actually held in Canada, okay. but after then it's been held in Albania, and that is actually the home country mm -hmm. where the president of the Miss Globe so. world is from. In the world today, when we listen to people say, "Oh, beauty pageant," like, "Oh, yeah, yeah," you want to what do you want to go and do? Like, you know, you need to have the perfect body, yeah. you have the perfect shape, have the you know. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not really all about that. So yeah. that is all about not even shaping yourself, mm -hmm. your physical self, but also maybe sh your, shaping mind. your mind. Yeah, you know? and that is the misconception, and I find yeah. it quite unfortunate. Maybe in my time, maybe 20 years ago, beauty pageants were all about beauty, beauty and world exactly. peace. But things have really changed mm -hmm. that we cannot stay, we can no longer remain a beauty, just a beauty mm -hmm. concept yeah. kind of thing. So we, we have advanced just the way the world is advancing. Mm -hmm. And you can also see how these girls grow. All the girls that come through the Miss Globe Netherlands yeah. program, you see how they grow. You see what they learn. You see, because actually we are not just a beauty pageant. Like I said mm -hmm. before, we are also an educational um, mm -hmm. program. We are an empowerment platform. Mm -hmm. So we teach these girls. We give them okay. skills. You know, we train them. They go through workshops. Um, so you can see, you can just see the transformation. Yeah. How they come in is totally different from who oh, they yeah. become. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the that's, trajectory. That's, that's All the girls need to stand for something. something. You cannot mm -hmm. come into the Miss Globe Netherlands program just because you feel like like you are the most beautiful girl in the class. Mm -hmm. You have to have something you bring into the table. You have to have something you believe in strongly, mm -hmm. something you stand for. And Alisa is such an example of that. She knows that, okay, she um, terms herself as a feminist. Yeah. And a lot of people have so many different ideas about what feminism mm -hmm. is all yeah. about. A lot of people have, you know, the wrongest ideas mm -hmm. actually. So yeah. she is really putting herself out there as the mouthpiece to really educate people yeah. about what it really entails. It is not mm -hmm. about saying that men mm -hmm. are, you know, they are not as important, but also women are important. And also for the voice of the women yeah. to be, you know, to be, to be for heard, women yeah. to be heard to be in heard, general. Yeah. So yeah. we encourage that all of our girls, you have something to something you really stand for as a person and um alisa's advocacy because they had to really go out there in public and speak because that is also part of the training we give them they should yeah. be able to you know address the public mm -hmm. you know as a queen you should be able to when there is you know a conflict yeah. somewhere current affairs anything happens you should be able to address, address. Yeah. You know, the community. So she really stood there in her Instagram life. She did exceptionally well and she talked mm -hmm. about her advocacy and really defended everything, everything she stands for. Something that you can say that you're proud of in terms of like, maybe meet one of the girls or two of them that, oh, they came like this. Of course, you don't need to mention name mm -hmm. or anything. But, you know, like for you to actually say that, yes, yes. I experienced the growth of this person. Mm -hmm. You know, that you can say, yes, this is what I'm proud of. Well, I am proud of most if not all of all of my past queens i am proud of the exceptional work they did in their time i mean representing your country is is a big is an enorm, enormous kind of um responsibility that comes on your shoulders and for all those girls to go abroad some of them even go abroad and <laughs> i can see someone out there and you know for them to really stand on that 
stage yeah. talking about their country showcasing the beauty and the culture of their country is mm -hmm. immense so i'm mm -hmm. proud of most of those girls but mm -hmm. i am also very exceptionally proud of alisa and the work mm -hmm. that you know she's doing i know how um she was when she came into the program mm -hmm. i know the first time that i met her you know and i see how she has grown i see the woman that she has become mm -hmm. i see the confidence that has really overcome her like <laughs> so <laughs> i'm so very proud of you know yeah. the evolution and the yeah. everything about her like oh, when she amazing. speaks you can just see that this is a queen the, she has really really grown so i'm really yeah. proud of no, her it's not. people just say yeah you want to be a beauty queen mm -hmm. you cannot mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what 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 do you have to say about like just just like a motivation mm -hmm. you know for people to take that step and like, okay, this I want to do. And yeah. What are those things that I need to have? Yeah. To be on this. So. Sure yeah. So everyone, I believe, has the potential to be someone and mm -hmm. to be whoever they imagine themselves to be, mm -hmm. as long as they put in the work and they are ready to really put in that work. So beauty pageants for the Miss Globe Netherlands, um, we are not just focusing on the prettiest girl. You mm -hmm. have to bring a lot more than that. We are looking for someone with a great personality, someone with charisma, with poise, you know, with yeah. elegance, someone um, who is kind, who is compassionate, who is genuinely nice um, to humanity in general. Yeah. So there are different categories of beauty pageants yeah. and um, sometimes most beauty pageants, they have their requirements in order not to, in order to be able to just carve a niche for themselves like mm -hmm. we can just accept everybody it's not a beauty pageant for women for men for yeah. kids for adults so there are different categories and we are focusing on um, young females between the ages of 17 and 27 and there are also other beauty pageants who focus on older women in mm -hmm. their 30s for example um, there are pageants for kids yeah. so everyone there is a place for you so I'm just going to motivate you if this is really what you're passionate about this is really what you love just go for it just search for the, the beauty pageant in a category under which you fall and just yeah and participate yeah don't go into it if you feel like you're not going to be able to give it your all i have mm -hmm. seen people in pageants when you ask them to do assignments they're telling you oh i'm so busy if you're busy do not get into it i mean we all have things we are doing I, i'm not saying you should give up your whole life because mm -hmm. you want to go into a pageant but you should be able you should know within yourself that you are able to devote some time yeah. at least to it yeah.